You've got your DC200 in hand. Let's go over getting it set up on the network. With the DC200, you have two different ways to connect via network. One, you have the network hotspot that we've had on the previous generation DC100. And new to the DC200, you have network provisioning. Let's first go over how to set up the network hotspot. Starting off, we're going to hit the power button here at the top of the camera. You should now see that blue flashing light on the power indicator. Over here on the back of the camera, you're going to want to make sure that our toggle is set to the Wi-Fi option. If it's over on USB, we're going to go ahead and slide that on over to the right hand side. Once this is done, once the camera is finished starting up, you'll begin to see a green blinking light on your Wi-Fi indicator. Now that the green flashing light is on on the Wi-Fi indicator, we're going to go over to our laptop and connect to the network. Now that we're in front of our computer, we're going to go ahead and select Wi-Fi and we're going to look for the SSID that you can find on the bottom of your DC200. Here you can see we have DC200 underscore 5G underscore 147308. We're going to go ahead and select connect. And now the default password for this SSID, which is also listed in the manual, is going to be four eights followed by four nines. I select next, yes, and this should shortly connect to the camera. Now that we've established that connection, you see we have the green dot on the Wi-Fi indicator on the camera. Now we've successfully connected our computer to the mobile hotspot of the DC200. Keep in mind, this is not going to output an internet connection, so you're going to temporarily lose connection to the internet. Now that we've been connected, we're going to go ahead and open the DC Capture app to view our camera's output. Now we're going to select our DC200 and connect. And there we go. We're connected and have output. If you're looking to wirelessly connect to your DC200 without disconnecting from your Wi-Fi network, your next step is going to be to provision the camera to your network. To do this, we're going to go to a web browser on our computer and enter in the default IP address of the camera. This is found on the bottom of the camera. Now we're going to enter in the default IP address, which is going to be 192.168.100.1. The default username and password is going to be admin and then four nines. Now that we're in the web interface, we can go ahead and go to our device and account section to rename the camera as you see fit. As you can see here, we already have the camera named as our support DC200, so we're going to save that and keep it as is. Now we're going to go over to Wi-Fi settings you can currently see that we have it configured to Wi-Fi access point. To provision this to the network, we're going to go ahead and move this over to client. This is going to load the nearby networks. So we're going to scroll down and select our ClearTouch support network. Please be sure to correctly enter in your password here, as incorrectly entering this password or connecting to the wrong network may result in you not being able to connect to your camera unless you factory reset it. After you connect to the network, you will briefly see the power button blink to restart, and then the Wi-Fi button will blink. Once that goes to a solid blue, you will know you have successfully registered your DC200 to your network. Now that we've relaunched our DC Capture app, and reconnected to our main Wi-Fi network, 
you can see we can find our support DC200 with its IP address on our own network. You should be able to select that device and select connect to enjoy the output of the camera while staying on your main network. Thank <laughs> you.